song going round and round my head. Like my favorite song going round and round my head. You're just like my favorite song. There's only a few things you need for a good day out on the water. Friends, swimming gear and a boat. I think we're good to go. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Ben, Sarah and Slip the dog live and breathe the boating lifestyle. And they're keen to show me what it's all about. I've been fortunate enough, I've been brought up on the water my entire life. Yeah. So basically, I just fell into it. It's not such a bad thing to fall into, it's beautiful. <laughs> and so, Sarah, what do you love about pit water? Well, I've lived here my whole life as well. It's just so beautiful. I'm an artist as well. We live in such a great place with still water one side and surf on the other. We're very lucky here. And this is just the boat to see pit water in. It's a Sea Change SCBX. The power comes from the Suzuki 80 horse power engine, which really gets us up and going. We're heading towards the surf side first to meet some pit water locals. The seals turned up a couple of years ago and they've just kept sort of building. There's quite a family of them. They just love to just, you know, lay on the rock and just sunbathe, don't they? Hey, they know how to live the life. They know what's good. <laughs> You need to keep your distance, but what a way to see these incredible creatures. You can only get here via boat, yep. or there is quite a long, rocky walk, so... Yeah, right. Boat's, boat's <laughs> the best option to get a good view of them, for sure. Another reason why getting a boat's a good idea, hey? hundred <laughs> percent. I want to enjoy the sun too, but we need to find somewhere a little bit calmer, and Ben knows just the spot. This is Portuguese Beach. Yeah. Basically, it's on the western shores of Pipwater. And it's another place that you can only get to by boat. It is yeah. quite popular on the weekends. Yeah. And every now and then you get that lucky time where you've got the whole entire beach to yourself like we do today. I can't believe that there's no one here. I know, it's beautiful. This is such a gorgeous place to explore, but Ben and Sarah have another absolute gem they want to show me. This one's Taylor's Bay. There's a few moorings here in this bay that you can pull up. It's really protected in here. Mm. It's, it's one of the bays that you can definitely come in and hide. You can definitely come in and swim here too. How incredible to be able to just jump off the boat and get wet. And since I bought the gear with me, I think it's time for a little snorkel. When you've had enough of swimming, why not just float around for a while? OK, Ben and Sarah have one more pit water site to show me. Scotland Island. Boat access only. There's no shops, electricity and everything like that. They've all got it. It's like a normal house. It's just, yeah, yeah there's no running down the street or no Uber Eats, that's for sure. Hmm, <laughs> that reminds me. It's been a beautiful morning on the water, but I'm hungry. I better get changed. I've got to get to lunch. I'm off to the Clareville kiosk where chef Nathan Boller has put together a dazzling collection of dishes. We've got uh, freshly shucked oysters with raspberry vinegar and salmon roe. We've got some barbecue prawns there with a chamula butter. And this is a spanner crab volivant with black pudding and avocado. I'm dying to dig in. Please do. Can I? Absolutely. <laughs> This is sensational food that captures the casual but contemporary vibe of Aussie food perfectly. Love it. Love it. Plenty of big flavours in the mains too, like this exquisite dry-aged duck breast. How divine to spend the day cruising around a magical place like Pitwater and then ending up here at the Clareville kiosk. A perfect end to a perfect day out on the water.